Welcome back to another episode of Drink Tales. And today is the it's it's the first week of November. So how do we want to start things off? With a very special liquor that we found. So back in September, I read an article about Snoop Dogg coming out with a new gin. And somewhere within the article, it said that, you know, it, it was releasing in the U.S. They were going to start in California in 2020, in the latter half of 2020. And then in early 2021, it was going to get released throughout the rest of the country. So imagine our surprise when we walk into our local liquor store, you know, looking for other things. And we see this right up front at the cash register. So you know we immediately had to grab it. So, mm -hmm. little and if backstory. It wasn't for Halloween, we would have reviewed it last. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if it wasn't for Halloween, we would have jumped on this last week. So, a little backstory. Uh, Snoop teamed up with his friend Keenan Towns. Keenan Towns is co founder of a liquor distributor. And uh, he more specifically specializes in like celebrity liquors like Syrah and they came up with this and I've been eager to taste it because this isn't just any kind of gin it's a it's a strawberry infused gin and while I haven't tasted it yet I'm more eager to see how it goes in mixed drinks or to come up with mixtures for it. But we gotta taste it first. Mm -hmm. So, and just to put it out there, when we got the bottle, the cashiers and everybody and the owners of the liquor store had high praises of it. Yeah, they tasted it. They Apparently they had tasted it hours before we and got there. It's like, eight people that work there. And they were like, this shit's good. <laughs> so, you know, imagine how hurt we was that we had to wait until Halloween was over. Yeah, we've been holding on to this bottle for about a week now. So, let's not wait any longer. I'm thirsty. <laughs> By the way, oh, off rip. Something else I need to make mention of too. Because mm -hmm. we never really, you know, talk about this when it comes to rating the liquor mm -hmm. that we put out here. Mm -hmm. And I bring it to attention. For, wait, interrupt that thought to let you know that I'm not even close to the bottle and can smell it. I can't. Okay, I can now. <laughs> 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 so already I have high hopes for this. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so when I posted the picture on Instagram letting everybody know, hey, this popped up, so we're reviewing it so we get ready. Mm -hmm. Some of my some of our commenters were, were like, they like the bottom. Mm -hmm. And I do have to agree, this is a I know it's a pretty simple bottle. Mm -hmm. It's a well-designed bottle, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Sometimes simplicity is the best is the best way to go about things like that. Mm -hmm. And I think it has a lot to do with the color. It smells really good. It's definitely strawberry. Yeah, that's that, that's like that crisp. Crisp <laughs> strawberry smell. Interesting. It is pretty good. Mm -hmm. It does not forego the taste of gin, the common taste of gin, the juniper. Yeah. And the infusion of the strawberry, it just add, it adds an extra flavor to it. That is pretty good. Let's 
let's see. You guys know I always read the bottom. What is laid back California style and doggo is like no other flavored gin in the world. Developed by the king of gin and juice, Calvin Snoop Dogg Brodius. And Doggo is the ultimate remix of seven premium botanicals infused with all natural strawberry flavor. Unapologetic, fresh, and clean. The spirit is ideal for sipping on the rocks with a squeeze of lime or mixing with tonic or juice. Try and Doggo laid back with pineapple juice or mix up an OG gin and juice with Indago and orange juice. So, yeah. They mentioned, um, let me read that again. Pineapple. Seven premium botanicals. And I taste the botanicals. Mm -hmm. This is this is also something that um this gets strong on the back end. Like when you initially sip it, it's oh okay, this is light. And then on the back end is like, don't, don't, don't. I ain't no bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like it kind of grabs like, you. Like it eases you in. Then mm -hmm. when when you're when you're already too deep inside, it's like hey, got you. Mm -hmm. And again, based on off the off of the taste and everything, I'm already conjuring up ideas. I, yeah, conjuring up ideas. Like this is this is peak mixing gin. And I forgot it in that sentence, but <laughs> so what I'm thinking is, I know, I know the knee-jerk reaction because it's Snoop Dogg is to do a riff on gin and juice. But I mean, it's I'm, it's been done. Not only has it been death. it's been done. Not only has it been done to death, but but I'm pretty sure. The website has a gin and juice. It actually does. It and, has to. And and it, I mentioned them. The OG and the laid back. So we're gonna we're gonna put those as the definitive gin and juice mm -hmm. cocktail recipes, mm -hmm. as it were, and, and leave it be. We're gonna go forward and do something different. You know what's ironic mm -hmm. is the fact that they say mix this with pineapple juice. I do get light pineapple notes from this, mm -hmm. from this particular product. Mm -hmm. So I'm not surprised that it would go with that very well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get that too. It's almost a little bubblegum like, mm -hmm. which isn't a problem. So I'm gonna say this too, weirdly enough, and I don't know if I want to put this out here and then Thursday come and I don't do it. <laughs> but I'm thinking right now off the top of my head, I'm thinking Tiki is the direction I go with this. I can see that. It's not unheard of to do gin drinks, to, to do Tiki drinks with gin in them. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm thinking about right now. Mm -hmm. So right now I'm thinking of pulling in the falernum. Maybe some orange. It's also gluten free and sugar free. Seven hundred fifty milliliters. But yeah, guys, Tiki is Tiki is the direction I'm leaning towards right now for the drink on Saturday. If I come back with something different, you'll know why. But 40% alcohol by volume. All right, I think it's time for a rating. I'm gonna give it a nine. Oh, I went 8.5. Yeah, I'm giving it a nine. Like there, there, there's literally no flaw. There's literally no flaw you can find with this mm -hmm. product. Mm -hmm. Like I said, you can drink it. Mm -hmm. You can drink it um straight. Mm -hmm. Maybe squeeze a lime in there. Mm -hmm. Maybe mix it with 
pineapple juice, maybe do it in a gin and tonic. Mm. Although, mm -hmm. if you're gonna do a gin and tonic with this, mm -hmm. you may not need to use a regular old gin. You may need to use like a flavor, not a regular old gin. You, you may need to use a flavored tonic. Flavor tonic water. Mm -hmm. Those things exist. Mm -hmm. Beaver Tree has like a, a, a boatload of them. Mm -hmm. And I would like to try that one day. Maybe that'll be a future episode down the line where we just get a whole bunch of Beaver Tree's tonic water and try, <laughs> and try them with the, with the Indago. Mm -hmm. That'll do it for this episode of Drink Tales. Be sure to come back next time where we will create a cocktail out of our brains using Indago. And right now it's tiki, but it may be something else. Exactly. <laughs> be sure to like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you're notified of all upcoming content on the channel. Also, be sure to check us out on Instagram and check us out on Twitter. Yeah, and I would like to add it, add this in because I'm going to be adding it in every episode. Mm -hmm. If there is a bottle of something, be it obscure or something that we can't get here that you think you we would like to review, mm -hmm. give us a ring in our DMs and let us know. Or if you have the bottle, you can send it to us. Just, you know... Again, hit us up in our DMs. We do review alcohol now mm -hmm. that we're trapped in the house. Yeah, probably for eternity. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, let us know, and we'll we'll we we'll get the bottle by any means necessary. Mm -hmm. Or if you have the bottle, send it to us, mm -hmm. and we'll review that liquor and make a drink with it. Yeah. Until next time, everyone, peace.